All right, so here's the burglar alarm tutorial. So the first thing I want to show is what this is actually going to look like. All right, you've got, here's the circuit schematic. There's a battery, all right, and that's just a 9-volt battery. And that comes in to a couple of things. Number one, we have, this is the schematic symbol for a buzzer. And then it also has an LED. And a 200 ohm limit resistor. I did neglect that you've got a couple of switches. And a couple of switches are over here after. Okay, we've got the master switch and the trigger switch. Okay, so how do we set this up? Well, the first thing that I would do is I would take the clothespin. Okay, the clothespin that's in your bag makes up your trigger switch. And I'm going to go into this lower left-hand corner here. You see how I have that overhanging? I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to kind of mark where this is going to go. And I'm going to write the word trigger. Okay. And I'm going to put three little X's across the top, one in the left corner, one in the right corner, and one in about the center. I'm going to put an X here, and I'm going to put an X down here. Okay. Now, each one of those X's is where you're going to hammer a nail. So I have one, two, three, four five nails. These don't need to be terribly deep. You're just going to take and hammer those down about halfway. Okay. The clothespin actually works surprisingly well for this. If you'd like, you can kind of hold it with the clothespin and then you don't have to worry about whacking your hands. See that? Three across the top. And then one, two on the bottom. Now these nails are going to become connection points for when you solder. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing you need to do is attach where your buzzer is going to go. And that's going to be somewhat centered. All you need... To attach that buzzer is a screwdriver and a couple of screws. And I included two brass number eight by half inch, what are called pan head screws. That just means the head is kind of, well, shaped like a frying pan. And what you're going to do is just set your screwdriver in there, get this well, more or less centered, give a little pop with your hand. And screw that down. One, and two. Okay, that is really the basics of getting your board set up. Next video, I'll talk about how to solder and what components we're going to solder where.